everybody, Dr. Lisa Thompson here coming to you live from my home office outside of Eden Prairie, Minnesota. Welcome to another edition of The Doctor Is In Live with another special guest, which is my Cocker Spaniel, Lulu. She is, uh, she just turned four years old. Lulu, do you want to say hi? Say hi, Lou. Yep, Lulu wanted to jump up on my lap and have lap time, so she wanted to come and make an appearance because Zoe did on Monday. Well, today we're going to be talking about more blogging tips on really how to build up uh, to get your blog seen by the right people, and we're going to be talking more about identifying your target market. Now, as we wait for more people to come on, what I want you to do is click in the upper right-hand corner of your screen where you're going to see the notification button. That way, Facebook will let you know that I am on, which is always at 3.30 p.m. Central, 4.30 Eastern, 1.30 Pacific, and we can interact in real time. Today's topic is about uh, 10 questions that you can ask that will help to find your target market. Now, I learned these 10 questions from Dan Kennedy, the ultimate copywriter. Now, on Friday, we had I had great positive feedback from the show when we were talking about the different, you know, how to define your market with the four questions and I had some people reach out to me over the weekend asking me more about really how to define their brand and their market more so I began to read the ultimate sales letter by Dan Kennedy like I said he is the top copywriter and if you don't have his book the ultimate sales letter you can get it for free with your Amazon Kindle Unlimited membership this is really great especially if you have Prime you can be Come a part of Kindle Unlimited. It, you can get your first 30 days for free. It's $9.99 per month thereafter. And the ultimate sales letter is free when you are a member of Kindle Unlimited. So I highly recommend that you get that book, okay, and you read it. It is an essential, uh, one of those foundational books. And the important thing with this is that if you know how to write, Okay, compelling copy. It doesn't matter if you're doing a sales letter or a blog post or even doing a video. It is going to help you get people to buy from you. And in the first couple chapters, Dan Kennedy really focuses on how to identify your target market. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to bring out my uh, I'm going to bring out my Kindle here because I saved it on my uh, my Kindle here as I was reading it. And if I apologize if my, uh, hey Ronnie, hey Kenneth, glad to have you on the show today. If my eyes deviate from the screen and I'm not making eye contact with you, it's because I'm going to be uh, putting out these questions. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give you the 10 questions. And then Dan gives you an exercise that he wants you to do that's going to help you identify your target market, okay? So get out a pad of paper and a pen, and let's take some notes. So here are the questions, and I found these to be extremely powerful. So here's question number one. What keeps your market awake at night, like the indigestion, boiling up their esophagus, eyes open, staring at the ceiling? This is something that they are just in an absolute panic about. Question number two, what are they afraid of? Question number three, what are they angry about or what are they angry at? Question number four, what are their top three daily frustrations. What are their top three daily frustrations? Number five, what trends are occurring and will occur in their business or lives? Okay, what are they, so this is, this question is going to become more important. Hey Judy, glad to have you on the show um, as we uh, get to the writing exercise. So, Number five, what trends are occurring and will occur in their business or their life? Number six, what do they secretly and ardently 
desire most? What do they secretly and ardently desire the most? Number seven, is there a built-in bias to the way they make their decisions? Okay, you know, for example, if you are an engineer, they're very analytical when it comes to making decisions. Or if they're an artist, they're very emotional when it comes to a purchasing decision. Question number eight, do they have their own language? Okay, this is the language of the market. So if, you're t if your market is targeting people who love horses, all right, there's going to be a market or language for those who love horses. If you have people you're targeting that are runners, there's going to be a language for those who are running. Question number nine, who else is selling something similar to their product and how? Who else is selling something similar to their product and how? And question number 10, who has tried selling them something similar and how has that effort failed? Ooh, that question is, what made them not buy? Okay, someone pitched him a product similar to yours and they didn't buy. What was it? Okay, so those are 10 really guiding questions that are going to help you really identify your market. And now here comes the next part. Dan suggests that you have to do an exercise. Once you've answered these questions, you have to do this exercise. Now, a lot of people... I did this in the beginning too, six years ago when I didn't do this. Hey Ryan, glad to have you on the show today. Ryan Mc, uh, Cody McMorris is just one of the most awesome dudes I've ever met. Um, I love his mindset stuff. You need to go follow him. Now, with this exercise that Dan Kennedy teaches, is you need to write out a day in the life of your prospect. See, the key to writing in blogging, hey, Joni, glad to have you on the show. The key to writing, okay, a good blog post or creating a video or you're writing an email is you're, write, you're communicating to one person. You're not communicating to a group. You're communicating to one person who embodies these characteristics, okay? So what you do is you're going to come up with a name, you're, it's called an avatar, of your perfect prospect. You have a name for them. How old are they? Describe them in detail because the more detail you provide, the more you're going to attract them into your life and people similar to them. So what, what, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, what Dan recommends is you do a day in the life. So you, you write about what happens when they wake up in the morning, okay? What time do they wake up? What do they listen to in the morning when they're getting ready? What's their morning routine? Do they read? Do they watch the news? Hi, Patrick. Glad to have you on the show today. Are you, um, you know, what do they eat in the morning? How do they get their family members ready and going out of bed? You know, when they commute, what are they listening to on their commute? How long is their commute? What job do they have? What are they um, upset about at their job? What's got them really pissed off, okay, that they are looking for something to help? You know, maybe their hours are getting cut or maybe they're, doing, they're putting in too much time. Okay, so you really got to identify those pain points and use those 10 guiding questions that I gave you there from Dan when you're writing this up. Where do they go eat lunch? Okay, what are their coworkers like? What do they do outside of work? What happens when they get home? Um, when they eat? I mean, you know, how active are their family and their kids? All right, do they take care of their parents? You know, there's a whole bunch of things that you put into this. What do they watch on TV? What do they read to escape from, from life? What are the things that they desire most to do? You know, what are the vacations that they dream of taking? Okay, those are the things that you write in a day in the life. And see, many marketers, and I did this too, we didn't do that in the beginning. 
okay? Because the key to great content and the key to getting people to buy from you is there has to be a congruent message to market match. And in order to have that message match your market, you got to know what your market is inside and out. You have to see things from their perspective. And when you have that, what happens is, is now you've got a bond and people are going to bond with you, okay, because they're going to do business with those who they know, like, and trust. And if you do this work now, this is a foundation for all your blogging, okay, for every piece of content on your blog, your video, your email follow-up. You have to do this part first, and it may take you some time, but I'll tell you, the most successful people in your niche, they do this. They did this step. So what I'm going to tell you guys to do tonight is do this step. Do this homework. Look at those questions. You may want to take, you know, if 10 is too much to do right now, maybe do one or two a day for the next five days, and then on the weekend, sit down and really write out a day in the life of your prospect. Put it in detail, okay? The more detailed you make it, the more you're going to get people coming to you, all right? The stuff you lay down now is now, you know, Diane Hoffman, one of my other mentors, um, she was given this piece of advice when she first was started out by her mentor, where she said, you got to go slow to go fast. This is the part that you have to spend the time doing because the rewards are going to be great on the other side. Can just imagine, you know, I did this with my, I have my avatar, all right? And because I know my avatar, over the last three months, just on one income stream off my blog, I have averaged $300 per month in commissions, okay? And the reason that I was able to do that was because I filled out, I did my whole ahead of time knowing my market. Now it's just a matter of scaling things up, which is great. It's awesome. I love it. All right. This is how you're going to wind up being that credible expert. You do this now and then you take the time now in November. I will tell you by the time January and February rolls around in 2017, you're going to see some great results. Did you get value today? from this live show. If you did, I want you to leave me a comment and share with your friends. Now tonight, I want you also to do something. I want you to be on this webinar at 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. My mentor, Ray Higdon, is doing a free live training where he's going to show you five steps to becoming a credible expert in your niche, even if you are brand new. Now, Ray used these five steps, and he does them today, that took him from being in personal foreclosure in 2009 to now he averages 73 sales per day from his block. All right? He has now made, over the last few years, over, you know, he's a multimillionaire. All right, and this is the blueprint he's going to give you. And if you've ever been on one of Ray's trainings, he really brings the value. So you want to be <coughs> on this webinar tonight. I'm going to give you the name of it right now so you can write it down and register. And then I'm going to put the link in the comments section, so make sure you attend. It is drlisamthompson.com forward slash 3MX. DrLisaMThompson.com forward slash 3MX. DrLisaMThompson.com forward slash 3MX. Now make sure you register and then show up 15 to 30 minutes early to assure your spot. Because when Ray puts on a webinar, this fills up quick and some people get shut out if they don't arrive on time. I don't want that to happen to you. You're going to get a ton of value tonight. I'm going to be there taking plenty of notes because every time Ray does a blogging webinar, I get something new from it that helps me get results. 
in my blog. So make sure you tune in and register tomorrow. And then join me tomorrow when we're going to be talking about, we're going to be creating a content marketing plan for your blog. So you don't want to miss tomorrow's show. So make sure you also hit the upper right-hand corner of your screen. That's the Facebook notification button. That way Facebook will let you know when I am on, and that way you and I can interact in real time. So with that said, enjoy your Monday. I'll see you at the webinar, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.